a CPS staff. In this short video, we're going to see the options that you have available to make a PDF editable for your students. So let's say you're a classroom teacher that has a PDF resource that you want to give to your students through Google Classroom, and you want the students to be able to work in the PDF. They don't just need to read the content that's on it. They actually need to be able to click in the PDF and do some work. I'm going to use the example that I have here on my desktop of a PDF that I'd like my students to be able to work in. So we need to understand that there is nothing in Google that makes a PDF editable for teachers or students. So I'm going to use some tricks to make it so that my students can actually edit this file right here. And those tricks are going to start with me taking a picture of what I want my students to do. I'm going to put that picture into Google Slides. We like slides because I can put it in as a background, which means it can be locked in place so that when my students are trying to type over this, maybe write over this with digital ink or put other pictures over top of it and manipulate them, they don't accidentally start moving this background image around. So here I have the PDF up on my screen and I'm on a Windows 10 desktop. So the tool that I'm going to take advantage of is what's called the snipping tool. We will also share some resources for you if you have a different type of computer and possibly a different screenshot tool available to you. So my snipping tool is now up. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this option that says new and it's going to put this sort of film over top of my entire screen and I can just click in one corner where I want to start and drag a big old box around this and as soon as I release it snaps a picture of this and drops it here into a save window. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose file, save as, and just for convenience because I know I'm going to move this I'm going to put it on my desktop here and choose save. Okay, so now I can get out of this screen capture. I can also get out of this PDF. So now I want to uh, upload that picture that I just took here into my Google Drive. So we're going to go to New and choose File Upload. And as I said, I put it on my desktop for convenience because now I can just grab it from right here without having to click around in a bunch of folders. And now right here, I have both the picture that I want to use as well as the PDF that I just captured this from. So I mentioned a moment ago, we're going to do this in Google Slides. So I'm going to come up here and do New and choose Google Slides. Now, a couple of quick tips in order to help you get your slides file set up correctly. If I drop my picture directly onto this page right now, I have these empty text boxes in the background and they just look a little messy. Plus, they create one more layer of things that my students might accidentally click on and move around and get frustrated when they're trying to do the work that they're trying to do. If I come up to my little drop down arrow and I choose blank, I can get a blank slide, but I still have this one. In other words, it adds a second slide to this and I don't want that I just want to change this one so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go up to slide I'm going to choose apply layout and I'm going to choose blank that's going to give me a completely blank slide to work with so that when I put this picture in as a background it is the only thing on the slide at all now the second step here is I am not going to go to insert and picture because although I can grab this picture from my drive what it is going to do is just put it as a picture sitting here on my page and as I said a moment ago students might accidentally move it delete it there's all kinds of problems that can happen what I want to do is put it in as the background and I'm gonna use the exact same menu option I did a moment ago when I went to apply layout I'm gonna choose slide right here and then I'm gonna go down to change background now I've got an option here to choose the image that I want to put into my background and I have some of the standard options we expect in Google. I can upload, I can take a picture with my camera, and so on. I'm going to come all the way over here to Google Drive, where I know I just uploaded that picture. And because I just uploaded it a moment ago, I can even go to Recent to find it. So here is that picture that I just uploaded a moment ago, and I'm going to choose Insert, and then I'm going to choose Done. So now this is a part of the background where I cannot click on it, I cannot move it or accidentally delete it or do anything. When I push this slides out to my students, if I choose the make a copy for every student option, I can simply give them instructions that they should go to something like the big old capital letter T here in order to create their own text box that they can then type in. Or maybe I would have them go to insert 
and use the scribble tool that's down here if I wanted them to write with digital ink over top of this. So I hope this series of steps will help you guys to uh, make your PDFs into an editable format for your students. Again, if you don't have the snipping tool, we're going to attach a separate resource with this video that will show you some ways that you can do screen captures on something like a Mac or a Chromebook.